even August yet, but tomorrow the first school district in our area, Chesterfield County, will start a new school year. And the road to success includes a big change to South Carolina lunches in this year. Mary Calkins is live in Fort Mill this morning with more on how this all works, Mary. Yeah, that's right, Mary. So in years past, if a student qualified and applied, they got a lunch at a reduced price, generally about 40 cents. Well, starting this year, that's going to be a thing of the past in South Carolina public schools. And there's a temporary law in the current state budget that prohibits schools that serve breakfast or lunch from charging families a reduced price payment. So if a child is eligible, these meals will now be free. This rule is in addition to one that's been in effect since last year, requiring schools and districts that are eligible for a federal program that provides free meals to all students in the entire school or district to participate if they qualify. If you are struggling to feed your family and you're a child who doesn't know where your next meal is coming from, being able to know that you can go to school, receive a meal is going to be um, a, a real relief. Now in recent years, South Carolina has taken other steps related to school meals including a law that prohibits schools from using debt collectors to go after families with meal debt, as well as a ban on punishing students who incur these debts. Now, if you're a parent, you're going to want to ask your school or district if they're participating in a federal program where uh, students automatically get free meals. And if not, you can fill out some paperwork to find out if your student is eligible. The eligibility, of course, based on your income. For now, reporting live in Fort Mill, Mary Calkins, WBTV, on your side.